Hey guys, my name is PDQ and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to design your park to the best possible standard. A lot of people struggle with building their parks. Um, you know, there's a lot you have to think about when it comes to toilets, restaurants, information centres, buildings, rides, roller coasters. There's a lot to think about and you have to be very technical with, with how you build it to make sure that your peeps are happy, uh, that they don't go home because they can't find the toilet or whatever. Um, and today I'll be showing you sort of how you can make sure that you don't get those angry peeps and, um, you know, you, you have the best possible park you can. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your, um, your ride maintenance covers all of your rides if you can and if not as many as possible. You also want to make sure that your information centres um, cover as much of the pathways as possible. So, as you can see, mine cover here, here, um, here. Uh, where are my other ones? Uh, where are they? So we've got one, two, three, four. I'm sure I've got one more somewhere. Um, we'll, we'll come back to that in a bit, guys. Um, I thought I had five, but maybe I've only got four. Oh, I'm being blind. Okay. You also want to make sure that your toilets are sort of spread out, but not too far away from each other. So, I mean, I've got... Really, I've got three here, so I could do with moving one of them. Um, but I've got one in the sand, I've got one in the sand, and I've got three up here. So I think what I might do maybe is bring one of these toilets uh, over here, maybe. So basically, guys, you want to make sure that um, your, your utilities are spread out and they're in the right places so that it sort of... Um, they, they just overlap each other and they take up all the pathway so there's nowhere that your peeps can be um, without them being able to find the toilet and if you make sure that your information centres um, take up the whole path then your peeps, they won't get lost they'll know where everything is in the park keeping your satisfaction very high for your park um, now let's talk about decorations. So decorations are a key factor in this game. Um, they boost your rides, so decoration value forty percent, decoration value ninety seven percent, decoration value a hundred percent, and because of that, um, I get a lot of um, hearts from my customers. And as you can see, um, revenue per hour is 3,460, giving me a lot of gold. Um, and because my, my, you know, my peeps stay in my park, I have 311. So you want to make sure that um, your rides are fully decorated, to, you know, to cover your rides. So, you know, leave spaces between your rides so you can put uh, decorations in between. And these trophies that you unlock are great for decorations because, see, 6%, 6 6%, 6%, 8%, 8%, 8%. Um, I think in the update they did, they changed that because originally um, bronze was 8% and gold were 12%. But um, still, you know, it's a free decoration, so you might as well use it. Um, so basically, I, I know that my park looks like it's all cramped, but um, there is technique behind it. Um, it. You just really want to make sure that all your pathways are covered with your utilities, your rides are fully decorated, and your you know, your restaurants are in a suitable place. If you guys would like another video on this, uh, a bit more in depth, let me know, and I'll make a part two to this video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.